Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer, you guys can call me Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the start of another weekend vlog. Hi, hello. I am on my way out. I gotta go to the library and I gotta go grocery shopping and I am going to go to Michael's, which is our craft store here because today I fell down a rabbit hole of book binding and I wanna try it. Not like the sewing the text block book binding, but like rebinding a paperback into a hardback. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Michael's. I'm gonna see what I can find. And that's what I think I'm gonna try tonight. I'm gonna have like a little crafty night. <laughs> I really don't have the time or space to be starting another craft right now, but because I'm trying to also this weekend finish a second story draft three and like read so many things this weekend, I need to catch up on my reading, but like I kind of want to start another craft. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go do that, but I'll talk about, I'll talk more about my weekend in a bit because I am literally in my winter jacket ready to go. So <laughs> I'll chat with you later. Hello friends. I am back. What a time. I spent too much time and money at Michael's, but that's okay. I also picked up a hold from the library. So this is Ever After by F.T. Lukens, which is exciting and something I hope to actually read. I've been getting so many library books and like <laughs> not reading them recently, which is just kind of the thing. I need to read it. Anyway, this weekend, what am I gonna be reading? That's a great question. I would love if this weekend was just full of reading, which probably isn't going to be <laughs> because as I said earlier, I need to finish a second story draft three and get that ready to go for my editor this week. But I think I'll be able to do that pretty quickly, like finishing up draft three, because last night I got partway through part four of a second story, which is exciting. Zooming right along, I've been, instead of actually like typing everything out, I've been copy pasting in like in sections and then putting the uh, edits in from my physical manuscript into it. So I might do that to just speed up the process, but I do really enjoy retyping everything. <laughs> but outside of that, tomorrow night I have like a board game night. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. Tomorrow I have a board game night with my friends. This week I made the stupid decision <laughs> to plan too many things and I didn't realize it was all in this same weekend vicinity. So yesterday night, one of my professors from university was launching her book, like had like a book launch and announced it on Twitter. All my friends were like, oh my God, yes. Only a few of us ended up going, but we were all very excited about it. So I went and I'm really glad I did because it was so nice to see some of my old professors. Not a lot of them, I don't think many of them would have remembered me. And the one professor that I wanted to talk to left early and I couldn't talk to her. I was so sad about it, but the ones that I did talk to are awesome and amazing. And my professor, uh, Dr. Dana Medoro, she released this book called Certain Concealments, which is on Edgar Allan Poe, Nathaniel Hawthorne, and early 19th century abortion, which she was actually researching back when I was in university. Like she's been researching and working on this book for like the entirety of her daughter's life and her daughter's a teenager now. So, I'm really happy that she finally released it and I picked up a copy which I'm very excited to read and like really study and go through because obviously it's academic but that was yesterday and I stayed out till like 9 30 on a Thursday night it was loud and at a restaurant and there was just lots of music and people so there was that super fun and then tomorrow is game night and then Sunday I'm going out and about with my friend just for a little uh for like you know just a fun like kind of a day thing but I've booked that in without realizing that this weekend was also the book launch and the game night and if I had known I would have kept my Sunday too myself but that's not how the things go anyways if this weekend goes wonderfully and i get all the reading time i want in i am going to be reading hopefully the entirety of the saturday night ghost club by craig davidson because this is my friend's book club pick and we're meeting next sunday i believe so i really want to get this done if not i will just read it throughout the week but my other main goal is to basically just blood marked <laughs> i really need to get into this i am only like 50 pages in and those first 50 pages, I'm so entranced and enthralled by it. So I need to get going on this. Thank goodness this has an audiobook, which is going to be great. I also have the audiobook for Spice Road and for Ordinary Monsters, which were the next like two main ones on my docket. And of course for Rune. I've had that audiobook for a long time. I just, I want to read so much this weekend. I want to get on top of things. <laughs> So that's hopefully the plan. Tonight I'm also going to be watching the next three episodes of The Legends of Vox Machina because of course that's out today, which is so fun and exciting. <laughs> Just ready for it. But yes, I also wanted to show you the crafting supplies that I'm going to do. So because today I went on a rabbit hole, <laughs> I went down a serious rabbit hole on bookbinding, I mainly did it because in my head I was like, oh, wouldn't it be kind of fun 
that when I get my physical copies of A Second Story, eventually when it's published, wouldn't it be fun if I bound myself a like hardcover copy? And then, and then I was like, I wonder if there's people who do that. Cause I know like legalities come into play sometimes with, with like, if you're printing off someone else's work and binding it and selling that service. I don't know how that works legally. So it's very difficult to find someone who'll do that for a reasonable price. So I figured myself, and then I was like, I wonder how people actually do book binding. And then I watched too many people do book binding, like actually like making the text blocks with like sewing everything together. And my brain was like, nah, <laughs> there's too much math involved in that. I cannot do that. So then I found the bookbinding side of things where you just turn like a paperback into a hardback. And I was like, I wanna try that. So <laughs> that's also what I have here. The only book that I think I would bind would be this one, like just to try, which is my old copy of The Princess Bride. I really hate this cover. So it works perfectly. I was actually gonna unhaul this cover, <laughs> this book a really long time ago because I just don't like the cover. But I, I read it for book club a couple years ago it was one of our book club picks and I did I don't know I find this book fascinating I didn't like it but I find it fascinating so I figured why not try and bind this so <laughs> I ended up going to Michael's and I found just the best things <laughs> so I picked up some like cardboard cardstock I picked up two just in case because I couldn't remember how big the book was <laughs> just in case I needed more brushes and liquid glue because I don't own anything like that and then I picked up some like blue fabric for the cover because I was going to do paper, but then I saw this piece of fabric, this little chunk, and I was like, <gasps> fabric is what I wanted to do in the first place. We're doing that. And then I picked up an X-Acto knife because I don't have that. And I think I'm going to need an X-Acto knife to cut this boy here. But my favorite thing is the end paper paper I picked up. I don't know why, but I'm obsessed. <laughs> and it's like gold bees it was too expensive it was like for two sheets of paper it was like six dollars but how could i not with the gold bees so this might be what i do tonight as i watch the legend of vox machina which i'm very pleased with i'm gonna like learn how to book bind not really book bind but like rebind i should say rebind a book which is very exciting but yes it's gonna be this like lovely blue and I didn't really think through like a design on the cover so it's gonna be just simply just blue but we'll, we'll see we'll see what I end up getting up to it's it's the weekend I'm super excited it's gonna be a really really good weekend if not like super super busy but I'm hoping to still do lots of content get lots of things done and still do a lot of relaxing for myself in general but yes we're also gonna learn a new skill I will catch up with you guys a little later. But yeah, it's the start of a weekend. How exciting. The book has been bound. I have done the thing. We will see what it looks like when it is, it, it, when it's like an hour has been passed, I guess. I don't know how long it's supposed to be in the press for. All the videos I was watching were like, you're supposed to press it for an hour between each step. And I'm like, nah, <laughs> no, we're good. So I, uh, I pressed the book for a little bit when I was like building the, 
the hardcover parts, but this is the first time it's actually being properly pressed and I don't really care. It's fine. <laughs> it's good, but I had a lot of fun. I've also learned a few things. <laughs> so I think depending on how the glue dries, I might need a different fabric depending on how it looks with the glue because this this fabric like as soon as the glue goes on it you can see the glue come through it and it looks awful so we'll see how that works <laughs> that cardstock was so difficult to cut even with the <laughs> exacto knife yeah i think one i need a ruler <laughs> i don't have a ruler so i've been just kind of free balling it and two if i was doing this again just would go a little slower and just like really take my time with each step and make sure everything is folded and cut right and measured right and but yeah that's been it i've also watched the three episodes of legends of vox machina that went so fast i watched it while i was doing that so that went incredibly quickly <laughs> and i'm as you guys watched last week i'm also re-watching vox machina the campaign this chroma conclave arc and where i am in the in the campaign is where the show is so it's it's fun to like see how things go like literally back to back because I turned that off and then I turned the campaign on and I'm watching the campaign now and we're just kind of reliving what we just watched in the animated show which is kind of fun but anyways book has been bound I will let you know how it works how it goes I'm in love with that B paper I like truly I'm in love with it. <laughs> it's so pretty. That's very fun. Then I also remember that my mom is was really into scrapbooking and, and stuff. So if I want to do this more, I'm just gonna raid her stash of paper instead of buying like six dollar paper. You know, that's kind of what's up. Now I'm gonna park myself on the couch and uh, maybe do some reading possibly because i did watch what i wanted to watch maybe i'll just continue to watch vox machina and do some reading at the same time seems like a good idea to me seems like a great idea to me <laughs> anyways i have now cleaned up that was actually a lot quicker than i thought it was gonna be and things are great so crafting for the win <laughs> now a fair bit later it's about 11 40 and i have finished a book <laughs> i ended up reading the saturday night ghost club i got the audiobook for it and i finished it in like two hours like it's deceivingly short the audiobook i think is like maybe not even six hours long so and because i'm ridiculous and i had the physical copy with me i could listen to it at like over three times speed don't ask me how my brain works i don't know finish this i'm gonna have to have a think about it it's not at all what i expected i expected it to actually be like what it's comped to on freaking goodreads which is stranger things and something else and it is not that at all. It's actually kind of sad. So there's that. It, since it's hours and hours and hours later, I went and got my book to look at it from the makeshift book press. And I am very sad because it is very glue stained. It looks awful <laughs> in person. So I'm gonna need to do something about this. I feel like paint might help. If I do paint and then seal it with Mod Podge, I will test and I will see, but what did turn out pretty okay are the end pages because i'm obsessed with these paper <laughs> with this paper i'm like i all i want is beautiful b end paper <laughs> i love it so much i did mess up a little bit and the glue did pull because what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put like clean pages inside just so that it like after you've glued the cover to the text block you're supposed to put a clean piece of paper in it so that like no glue will stick the rest of the book but it did anyways and it like peeled some of the b at the bottom off that's okay <laughs> that's all right and it is crazy crazy out of whack not straight so the next book i bind i need a ruler and i need to do this slower so things are lined up because <laughs> that is crazy but it's still really pretty in a like this is my first book I bound or like I rebound kind of way. Now I know. It was fun and I do want to do it again. I want to try again to like make sure I'm doing it right. Anyway, yeah, it's been a productive evening. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed soon because I have my lesson in the morning as I usually do. So we'll see how the rest of my night fares, but I might do some crocheting. Maybe, maybe. I'll probably catch up with you guys tomorrow. But yeah, it's been an already an interesting weekend and we're only just beginning. <laughs>
I want to check how much I got done today. I'm in the last chapter, like right near the end of part four, which is exciting and amazing. And, oh yes, <laughs> we hit the 50K mark. I am ending this stream at 52,673 words in draft three. Heck yes. <laughs>I just finished my live stream, which was very productive. You just saw in that last clip that I hit the 50,000 mark, actually hit 52K. And I just, just now finished part four of our second story. We love it. So now draft three sitting at 52,987 words. We love to see it. One more part to go and then an epilogue. And then I wrap this up, throw it into Word, do all the formatting, send it to my editor. But for now, I'm done. I'm gonna put my computer away. And as you saw also in that time lapse from earlier, earlier, I was uh, working on some more of that book binding stuff. <laughs> also, if you can hear a weird hissing, I have a pot on my stove right now because it is so dry in my place that I need like boiling water to get the humidity in. Um, I'm actually gonna turn that off because it's been on for a little while. But yes, the book that I did finish yesterday, I ended up getting a couple things from the dollar store on my way home today. And I have done some more work on it, which is very exciting. It is now dry from the paint. So I need to get it sealed because it is the worst texture I've ever felt in my life. Dry acrylic paint, awful texture. <laughs> Hate it so much. Uh, but yes, I even bought like a little art pad thing <laughs> at the dollar store because I needed something that I could cut on with my X-Acto knife and not absolutely wreck my table. Because yesterday I was using a second board set that I used for like the hardcover. I had a, I had two of them, I bought two of them at the store, but I used that one as my like board for cutting on. <laughs> so I needed that today because <laughs> I'm making another one. <laughs> this one with more care and precision because I care about this book more because I'm, I'm binding uh, my paperback copy of Legends and Lattes. Very exciting. So I've got the text block ready to go. Let me see. And I have the boards almost ready. I just realized that some of the glue didn't, I didn't glue right to the edges, which is a mistake on my part. And I actually picked up some like cardstock paper this time. So I'm gonna try this one with paper. Hopefully it goes okay. I noticed that as I was like folding this paper that it was not folding the way I wanted it to, <laughs> which is unfortunate because <laughs> that's gonna be, that's gonna make a really awful book cover if it's gonna do that. But I do have a seal, like a matte Mod Podge seal that I'm gonna use and hopefully that'll help seal everything up. But yes, this is so fun, truly guys, like new favorite craft. <laughs> but yes, I am actually really happy now that I'm looking at this Princess Bride copy. I'm happy with how this looks. I kind of want to, where's the cover? I think I'm going to write like PB across here because I do have like, I do, I did buy gold paint because I knew that I wanted to write on the covers and I do have a skinny little brush. So I might do that. I might. <laughs> we'll see how things go. But yeah, I actually kind of like this cloudy cover and I painted it specifically because all that glue looked so gross <laughs> as I showed you yesterday. All the glue that was leaking through looked really gross, but I think this looks better. That's, uh, this is what I'm going to do for a bit. I am going over to my friend's house later for game night. So that's where I'm going to be. I'm really enjoying myself. <laughs> haven't read anything today, anything else, but I've done this and I've watched a little bit of Critical Role and I've done my live stream. So like, what else could I want? Thing. I left my glue brush over there. <laughs> I need to go get it. But yes, what a, what a fun craft of a day. <laughs> Have you guys ever tried bookbinding? I'm very curious. I know it's kind of like a big thing on like TikToks and stuff, but it's fun. I'm gonna try to fix this corner. <laughs> and I'll chat with you guys a little later, but yeah, what a productive day. Happy Sunday. Wow, I sound ridiculous. This is the first time I've spoken today. I'm up. It's noon. I'm gonna leave in about a half hour. 
and then we go visit my friend. We're gonna go have a little coffee and bookstore date kind of a thing. It'll be very fun. Last night was so much fun. Good old board game night. Played two games that I have never played before, which is exciting. We played Settlers of Catan, which, you know, in my memory, I remember playing it like once with a friend, but I think it was only, there was only one of us. So I like, I didn't get the full Settlers of Catan experience. And I was, I've always been like, why are people so obsessed with this game? And I get it now. But I'm also like, there's so much better games out there to be obsessed with. <laughs> to all those people who are hardcore obsessed with Settlers of Catan. And then we played another game called Seven Wonders, I think. Uh, we were all tired and we didn't really, our brains were not ready for that. <laughs> but that's okay, it was, it was a good night either wise. It was like chill, low key, just hanging out in our friend's uh, living room, playing games. It was very fun. And uh, I hope to do more in the future. I also wanted to pop in and talk about the book binding experience of yesterday because I have failed worse than the first time <laughs> with this one. And like, I like the look of it, but I also finished up what I did with the copy of The Princess Bride. And I like this a lot more than I thought I was going to. I might have to do another coat of sealant. I'm not sure because it feels a little weird still, but the feeling of acrylic paint was worse. So I finished up my copy of The Princess Bride <laughs> and I really like the way that this turned out. I think it looks really cool. I put PB and then a big old G for the author's name and a little gold feather, just because I thought that would be nice. I'm not a big fan of my writing on this, so I kind of want to see if there's a way that I could do that it would look better in the future, but this one turned out okay, and like the cover folds really nicely, which I think is the after effect of fabric. Now that is key, because with ledges and lattes, I used paper. And last night I did like the final designs, and I painted everything, and I'm kind of like happy with like what I did with like the details and I added some gold and I ended up doing like a little bit of a gold page situation so that they were shiny. But two things, one, I didn't, <laughs> let me put you here. I didn't do like enough space here for some reason. You see how like a proper hardback has like this kind of a space, like you have, you know, there's space here with the hardcover. This, like the pages, are almost like over it. I don't know how. I measured properly and I even did the thing where I'm like, I moved it forward a couple millimeters so that it did hang off, but I don't know what the fuck went wrong when I actually put it together. Two, with the paper, which looks fine. It's not my favorite look, but I put the sealant on and this morning when I opened it up, it immediately cracked along here. But then the worst part is when I actually open up the book, it's ripping on the back, which, this one does not do. So my plan, my plan of attack is to uh, redo this <laughs> to the best of my abilities. I am going to exacto knife this out of here, reuse these boards because I can, I'll just tape it better. And I'm gonna go pick up some fabric from Michael's, like the same little swatch, not this blue. There's like a linen that I'm gonna pick up that I think won't show the glue as bad. I say that now. I might have to pick up some paint as well. So this this one was a fail, which is very sad. Where's my exacto knife? I'm just gonna do it now. And like the only fail is that the fact that the book itself is like fully cracking when you open it. Like it doesn't open nicely because this one, is nice. It like lays flat the way it's supposed to, et cetera, et cetera. This one very much does not. And I don't know what I did wrong for that. But yeah, the paper just continues to rip on the back, which is not good. Uh, so we're just gonna do a little slicey slice. So yeah, things that I've learned, <laughs> don't use craft paper <laughs> on the covers of your book binding. Don't do it. Use fabric instead. It's more flexible. Uh, but yeah, yesterday as well, when I got home, there was someone parked in my parking spot, <laughs> which is so irritating because I sit, I park next to the, like, what's it called? The visitor parking. So most of the time when I come home, I have someone who's parked like halfway into my spot, which is really annoying. But my neighbor who lives, who parks next to me doesn't usually park park there's someone fully in my spot and yesterday i noticed well actually two days ago i noticed that there was a big old pile of snow um in our visitor spot which is so annoying like the the people who like did the snow didn't clear out the the pile of snow that's like currently taking up the only two visitor spots we have which is annoying 
There we go. <laughs> so, you know, that's just a thing that happened to me. And I got home at like 11 or something ridiculous, 11.30, and there was someone in my spot and currently going through a cold snap right now. The issue is I need to plug in my car because otherwise it's not gonna start tomorrow because that's how freaking cold it is. Our cars just don't start when we're going through like a minus 30 kind of cold snap, which we currently are. We're going through an extreme cold warning right now. I was so mad <laughs> when I got home to that. And so I parked on the street across from mine, which luckily there was a spot to park at all. But because I don't have my plug to plug in, I wrote a scathing note and left it on my person's uh, windshield. And I went out again at about one to see if they had moved and they were gone, thankfully. So I, you know, parked my car in my actual spot. But like, how inconvenient. Like, it's obviously not the visitor parking because I have like a number on my stall. Anyways, I'm complaining about this as I'm doing this. This is just like the longest clip of life. But <laughs> anyways, I'm going to redo this at some point. I'm going to get the fabric, redo it everything will be fine um, and it'll be much better because I want this one to actually be like a really nice hardback not something that kind of looks janky you know anyways I'm gonna reuse these boards to the best of my abilities will eventually bind this properly but I'm actually kind of happy with how pr the princess bride turned out I'm not gonna lie like it looks nice it looks nice the texture is weird so that might just be on me doing something stupid but it opens nice it's readable and even though it kind of does this weird crease thing on the spine, I think that was just an issue with the way that I had it propped when it was drying during one part. I don't know. <laughs> I need to make myself some food. So I'm going to leave in a 15 minutes now because I've been talking for so long. But yeah, it's Sunday. Let's get this day started. <laughs> freaking cinematic mode again <laughs> this mode throws me off every time it looks good though like I, as i was editing my previous like my writing vlog and i accidentally was in cinematic mode it looked okay so i think i might occasionally vlog in this style i don't know it looks really cool when i'm filming like b-roll clips but when i'm talking to the camera it's wild everything blurred <laughs> anyways hi friends <laughs> i'm finally freaking home what a day it was such a good day oh my gosh it <sighs> You know when you're like, when you spend time with your friends and it just like fills your soul? It was one of those days. It was one of those days. And I'm so happy about that. Which is good because after my fiasco of yesterday, I needed to refill. Or yesterday night after coming home from, from a wonderful evening, the parking situation kind of dampened my mood, but I needed today to reinvigorate. <laughs> Anyways, I'm here with a little haul because of course there's a haul. <laughs> I ended up going to Indigo with my lovely friend Yelani and we got Starbucks and we went to HomeSense as well. 
all sorts of places. It was a lovely, lovely afternoon, but I ended up getting three books. I didn't plan on getting three books today, but I did. <laughs> it was one of those days where I didn't have a book in mind when I was going into the store. I knew I wanted to look and see if there was a specific book there. Also, if you can hear anything, my laundry is currently going um, in the background. The sound, that's that. Anyways, <laughs> but as I was walking around with, with my friend, she recommended this first book to me. And cause I was talking about, we were talking about this book. <laughs> and I said that the Ballad of Perry Graves is good and it's definitely weird, but you need almost to like read them simultaneously with an audiobook because the dialect is really hard to follow when you're just reading with your eyes because it's spelt almost phonetically how it sounds. So like having the audiobook in your ear, much better. But when I said that like, what does the weird, uneasy, like chaos, vibes of a city that's come alive what does it better it is the city we became by nk jemison right and she was saying like oh have you ever read neverwhere by neil gaiman and i was like no i have not read that so she was like you should <laughs> and i was like okay so if it's gonna focus this cover is absolutely beautiful as well hey like i'm obsessed as soon as she picked it up and showed me it i was like well i'm getting that anyway because the cover is my favorite i don't even care that it's the weird shaped long pocket book like this cover makes up for it it's so cool i know nothing about this other than it's like there's a, like an underworld london so i'm gonna read that very soon then the book that i was going in to just see if it was there on the shelf was barrel of winter by hm wong and it was there on the shelf so of course i had to pick it up i knew that my pre-order from indigo hadn't shipped yet so i canceled my pre-order hopefully it goes through if it doesn't go through then i'll just have two copies which is fine but i immediately immediately i was like this is coming home with me <laughs> it's that tiktok sound every time my friend like showed me something I'm like this is coming home with me <laughs> it's that tiktok sound over and over i did just realize though that this is a different quality of paperback than the old ones are because this one is really floppy and uh this one's not which is very sad because i like a floppy heart paperback and barrow is slightly tinier and apparently hannah because i'm talking to hannah the author on on instagram said that this new these new ones match the new printings of hall of smoke because they've changed the format a little bit so it tracks but like how gorgeous is this cover it is so shiny i'm obsessed but yeah it's got this one this was the third book in the hall of smoke series so there's hall of smoke temple of no god and then this one my copy of temple of god is currently being held hostage by one of my friends i'm obsessed and honestly so tempted to just read this like right now because we're going through a cold snap and what better time to read a winter book than when it's gross and wintry outside <laughs> so maybe who knows and then finally i ended up picking up talia hibbert's highly suspicious and unfairly cute uh, which is her YA romance that has just been released. I wasn't planning on getting this book ever <laughs> because it is, as I just said, a YA romance, but it is Talia Hibbert. And I trust Talia Hibbert with my life. So, and it was only $15. So I was like, you know, I gotta do them. I gotta do that. <laughs> I gotta do it. I love it. And it's little, so we love it. And I'm planning on reading this in February because it's pink and it's very cute, which I'm very happy about. And I'm just kind of slowly building my February TBR because we're getting close to February now. <laughs> so this is going on it. And maybe even Neverwhere as well. February TBR, because I have a feeling I'm gonna read this like right now. I might. I have, I have been reading today when I was... Uh, before I was leaving to, to hang out with my friend, I was also listening to more of Bloodmark. So I should get more of this done. I'm almost at page 100 now. So I read about like 50 pages, which I'm happy about. There's like six and a half hours left on the audiobook. So I can't finish that tonight because I have plans to do more writing because Amy's stream, Amy Procopus, her stream starts at 8.20 and it is, oh my God, it is 8.20. I gotta get on there. I gotta get on there and do some writing because I wanna finish up part five of A Second Story and get that finished. So we'll see what I get up to, but yes, that's the update. <sighs> what a Sunday.
Monday and welcome to the end of this vlog. We're officially here. I'm very sorry this one was very long. <laughs> do apologize if you made it to the end. If you made it this far, leave me a little book stack emoji for the book binding that I went through in this in this video. But I'm here to officially wrap up this vlog. Last night, if you saw in that B-roll, the last little section there, I don't know why I didn't actually speak to you last night, but I finished draft three of a second story last night. I was sitting here putting all my edits in and I just, I don't know what it is about the story. Every time I reach the end of like a read through or the draft, I get this like wash of warmth over me and I am so pleased. I'm so pleased about it and I'm so excited to get into the next stage and like make it even better than it is. Today, I got a sample chapter back from my editor that I'm going to be going with, just cause I wanted to see how she would edit. And from her edits, they're like really mindful and very good edits. So I think that this is going to be a good fit. So hopefully I can get this manuscript to her in the next couple days, which is gonna be very exciting. She's gonna have that for a few weeks. I think it's 21 days her turnaround. It's crazy fast or something like that. During February, I think I'm gonna work on the back matter of the book, but either way, I'm done. I finished it. We finished a second story and we're, and a second story is at 65,000 words. So I ended up actually adding 7,000 words this, this draft roughly from the previous one because the previous one was 58,000. So I don't know where those words went, but they went somewhere. <laughs> I'm very happy that it's a little, just a little bit more beefy. There's a little bit more things going on. Not really, but it's like, I don't know. It's just 65,000 words is a good amount of words, in my opinion. <laughs> I like that. I like that number. I'm happy with it. It's done. Anyways, what did I get up to this weekend? So many freaking things. Book binding, seeing friends, game nights, dates at Indigo, buying books, reading a book, which, by the way, is the Saturday Night Ghost Club I gave three stars. I'm going to be talking about this with my friends next Sunday, which is going to be exciting to talk about. And uh, did a whole bunch of writing, obviously, because I did just finished draft three. And it's officially January 30th, so we're looking at February next. February 1st is gonna be very exciting. It's the day is Wednesday. There's gonna be a fun special announcement going up, so definitely keep your eyes peeled on my channel because there's gonna be a fun announcement going up. It's gonna be very good. And I'm excited to see what February brings, for sure. I've already got a My Friends Pick My TBR in the works, number five, which is crazy. And I'm excited to see vibe wise of like how my writing goes in February and then how March and April and then the beginning of May goes because publication of a second story is coming very soon. Ah, I'm so excited to keep working on this story and get it and get it done and ready and in y'all's hands. Anyways, I'm gonna leave this here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this weekend. I will catch y'all in another video very soon. Stay kind. I keep on reading. <laughs>